Welcome to Sessions. I am Steve Serrano. Ladies, Little Mix, thanks for coming in here. Thank thanks you. Yes. I appreciate it. Obviously, we saw you perform an acoustic performance here in uh, Studio B, and uh, the kids, they loved you guys. They were lovely. Very really welcoming. Nice. They were. Now, first of all, introduce yourselves real quick so we know what's going on. I'm Jid. I'm Jesse. I'm Perry. And I'm Leanne. Woo! <laughs> so, you guys have been branded, and I think you guys have probably heard this numerous times, been branded the new Spice Girls or the female version of One Direction. How does that make you guys feel sometimes? That's amazing. Like, both of them groups were so successful. One Direction still are, we're like, storming it right now. So, yeah, that's amazing. And we, if we could just have a little bit of their success, then that would be amazing. And it's true. Like, social media-wise, you guys are just all over the place, and you guys connect with those fans, I think, which is great, too. Yeah, it's really important to us to, um, to interact with our fans as much as possible on Twitter and Facebook because at the end of the day they're the reason that we're here so you've got to kind of give them that back really. Mm -hmm. And tell me about the journey. Obviously uh, the UK X Factor worked with Simon quite a bit and uh, this has got to be great for you guys then. Yeah it's amazing. We all got put together at boot camp. We were all solo artists at the beginning so then they were put into a group together and it just literally felt like fate. Like it felt like it was always supposed to happen. And like, we, I always say to myself, how can they put four girls together that just get on so well? Like, there's no big ego in the group. Like, we're all just... Come on, there are no cat get... fights or anything no, going there's on? there's really not. Like, oh, people don't on. actually believe us when we say, like, we actually get on really well. <laughs> like, and we, we have the same... You um, don't pick on the one, humor. you're like, hold on, you're eating too loud over here, or something <laughs> like that, right? Well, like, Never. we are normal girls. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to have little sisterly bickers, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. who stole the hair dryer or whatever. Mm. But it's, yeah, we get over it in, like, a second, like... Perfect. Mm. Tell me about the new album. Uh, I know it's going to be coming out in May, right? Yes, May 28th. So tell us about this. Well, the album is basically just a little mix, really. We've all got different musical influences, so we've kind of merged that all together on one album. So there's like pop on there, there's the big ballads, R&B, hip hop, just everything that we're inspired by, really. And yeah, I think there's definitely something on there for everybody. All right, we're going to switch gears just a little bit. And what we call is, uh, you know, what we can't find on Wikipedia, what we were just okay. talking about. Yes. Uh, so the we're gonna truth. Have the truth. That's right. We're going to have some fun. What about celebrity crushes? Did you guys have any celebrity crushes? Oh, that's, I had loads. Well, like, we're first of our celebrity crushes. Yeah, you're, yeah. Younger. yeah. Uh, Jesse McCartney. <laughs> really? Yeah, I loved him. I, I really fancy. Oh, go on. I was going to say, I think mine was Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake? Yeah, I loved him. Mine oh. was either Nick Carter or, you know, because me, me and my dad used to always watch him. My mum went to bingo. Michael Jackson and um, Thriller. Mm -hmm. oh, I used yeah. to fancy him oh, so yeah, much in that video. Um, I had posts of Lil Romeo. Ro I absolutely yeah. love Lil Romeo and Aaron Carter as well. There you go. Okay, now I heard beforehand you guys are, you know, like a snack wise, that you guys were into the cinnamon buns. Did yes. you guys hear? Is that? Oh my God. Yes, I yes, heard yes. you guys are huge fans of these. Do you these. have them? I don't have any here. <gasps> they just told us when you guys walked in, it's like the Cinnabons that you guys are huge it's fans. So, yeah, they do. They've got a store in my shopping center back at home, and it's amazing. It is so good. See, I didn't know they did them in England. Oh. I because I had them in the airport in on the way to Jamaica. Well. I didn't know, but then I just heard that it's American thing. <sighs> They're I beautiful. Yeah. They're hot. Mm. All right, the toughest thing being on the road then for you guys. Oh, I think missing being a, my mummy yeah, and being my away family. Yeah, friends and family, that's always hard because obviously we don't get to see them a lot as it is anyway. So then obviously when we're away, it's even harder. But it's all good though. Like it's all part of it. And it's yeah. nice because we, like in return, we get to do things for them that we would never have been yeah. able exactly. to do before. Exactly. We're running yeah. off adrenaline as well. Yeah. Like being yeah. here, everything's new and everything's exciting. And yeah. all the fans have been so welcoming and amazing. Yeah. It kind of takes your mind off it yeah. a bit because everything has been that incredible mm. but yeah obviously there's more pros than there there is cons yeah. by far so. hopefully yeah. one day they'll get to experience this with us as well yeah that's the dream yeah still yeah. joined with little mix my last question for you guys obviously you spoke earlier about working with missy elliott yes. who else would you guys like to work with uh hopefully in the future oh wow maybe i don't think our inspirations is ever going to happen oh. no diana ross and steve perry is probably a no. No. no but we'll keep dreaming like yeah Nicki minaj as well she okay. yeah it'll be Nicki minaj so good. Good. oh that new um rap bad guy what's he called i'm gonna Mac be so good. Ma there you go the yeah. Shop. yeah yeah he's, he's really so good. good we like him um i will i really want to do a slow jam with like boys to men or jagged edge or joe to see or casey and jojo and then you just can throw like, in the uh, justin timberlake yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. right there right he would be, uh, he would be good so, yeah, I'm going to hold up. <laughs> well, ladies, thank you guys so much for coming Thanks in here. Thank you. We appreciate thank you. it. Thank you. I know the new album coming out in May, so yes. uh, we'll yep. continue to watch that. We thank yes. you guys for coming to Kansas thank City. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you for watching Sessions. Until next time, we'll see you then.